Okay, now our next pitch is the two seam fastball. Now I'm gonna tell my guy here, we're gonna throw this two seamer inside on a righty. Using our power position, good weight shift. And if we miss, we wanna tell our young pitchers, if we're gonna miss, we're gonna miss on that side of the plate. Miss inside. There you go, now just bring it over a little bit more. That a boy a little bit better. Good. Now remember in your power position is one we want to start out with a nice wide base, okay? Separate your weight shift, rotate and throw. Don't forget about your weight shift. There you go, good. Again, you can see that we got the makings of a two seamer here. That ball is moving inside on a right-handed hitter. Now my next guy here is gonna demonstrate a curveball. Now one, we're gonna make sure he's got a good grip here. You can see he's grabbing a long seam. He's choking off a little bit, okay, but that grip feels comfortable, okay. Good, not bad, we're creating rotation. Good, better. Now one thing we can do here is you've got pretty good rotation, but what we need to do is need to get him to finish a little bit better. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through your mechanics and stop at rotation. Good. We want to get a little bit better leverage when you throw this breaking ball, and don't start it too soon. Right now, the reason why his breaking ball was finishing up and in on a right-handed hitter is he was releasing out here. You got to get that pitcher to get that ball and release it out in front of him. Get those two knuckles on the hitter. Okay, so get this a little bit more. And if you're gonna miss, don't be afraid to miss in the dirt. Okay, but be a little bit more aggressive out front. Don't start it so early. That a boy. Let's go one more. Good. Great job. A couple things we could take away from that is one, he was slowing down his arm a little bit. You gotta remember, even though it's an off-speed pitch, you still gotta be aggressive with your arm action and you have to throw it, okay? My next pitcher here, Nick, is Nick, I want you too to throw your breaking ball and then we're gonna move on to a changeup. So Nick is gonna get a left-handed angle on a breaking ball. Again, this is a great teaching aid with the power position. We got the catcher moved up for abbreviated distance that he can work on this pitch, and he's not putting a whole lot of stress on his arm by practicing at 60 feet, six inches. That away, great. Okay, let's go to our changeup now. Now let's see your changeup grip. Okay, you can see Nick has a basic three-fingered grip. He really doesn't have a circle here, okay? But it, it's not bad, it's in the back of his fingers, okay, and that should take off enough velocity. Good. A couple things we need to look for with the changeup is we wanna make sure that he has the same arm action as his fastball. What we don't wanna do is slow down our arm. Good. Let's go one more. Atta boy. Great job, Nick. Now remember a couple things. Nick used a three-finger changeup, but the common denominator with all those, throwing a circle, the three-finger, or the four-finger changeup, is that you get that ball in the back of your fingers and don't sandwich it in the back of your hand. Also with the breaking pitch, we wanna make sure we grab a long seam and we have a nice firm grip.
also about the breaking ball. One, we want to make sure, especially at a young age, that we don't throw too many breaking balls. And remember, the most important pitch that we want to throw is our fastball. We build arm strength by building a foundation of throwing fastballs at a young age. There are a lot of other pitches out there. One danger with kids is that they want to emulate the players they watch on TV by throwing all kinds of crazy pitches. As a coach, it is your job to discourage this. Pitchers who develop good fastballs at a young age and continue to throw them for strikes with good velocity can be very successful into high school. Change-ups and breaking balls can be developed as the players mature physically and emotionally. The other pitches can put tremendous strain on the elbow and shoulder and should be avoided until the pitcher has reached complete physical maturity. Now that these guys know how to pitch, they better learn how to defend themselves out there on the hill. They can't strike out everybody.